Hey guys, are you ready to play some more Minecraft? Yeah, Joe. I was actually thinking that we should try out a hardcore world. Ooh, wow, that sounds like fun, Donald. Yeah, I'm down to play some hardcore. Awesome. All right, guys, let's hop on the realm. Also, to all of you watching, make sure to like and subscribe for part two because I said so. Wow, Donald, that is a bit aggressive with it, don't you think? Whatever, Barack. Let's just get on the realm already. Oh, wow, guys. I'm so excited to finally be starting a new world again. Yeah, Joe. I feel like Minecraft is most fun when you are still starting up. Yeah, Donald. Starting fresh is so exciting. I especially cannot wait to see in what way that sleepy Joe is going to die first. Oh, come on, Donald. Have at least a little bit of faith in me. What if I am not the first one to die? Joe, if you are not the first one to die, I will eat my own shoe. Okay, then, well, how about we ask the viewers? If you think that I will not be the first one to die, then put Donald is a shoe eater in the comments. Okay, fine, Joe. Okay, well, now that we are going to see everyone agreeing with me, what are you all doing? I am just getting food for us at the moment. Right now, I'm just getting all of the wood from this village. Yeah, me too, Donald. That is an L for these villagers. Yeah, these scrubs should have learned how to build properly, LMAO. Why can you guys not just get your wood from a tree? It is working fine for me. We are taking the wood from these scrubs because they need to learn their place in the food chain, Joe. Minecraft is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Yeah, Joe. We cannot let these complete bots go without getting punished for being trash. You guys do realize that you are talking about literal NPCs, right? See, Joe, there is the spirit. Now come and help us own these bots. No, Donald. I mean, like, they are literally NPCs. They cannot get upset at you. Your point being? That just sounds like more of a reason to rob them for everything that they have. But why would you take wood from the villager's house when you could just take the wood from the tree that is right next to you instead? Because of a little thing called survival of the fittest, Joe. We are the alpha predators, the top Gs, the absolute giga chads of this Minecraft world. We need to assert our dominance now so that later on they will not even think about questioning us. Slay, queen! Donald, that has to be one of the dumbest things that I have ever heard. They will not question us because they cannot question anything. They literally cannot think for themselves. You could never possibly begin to understand the absolute Chad way of thinking that me and Barack have, Joe. You're simply just too much of a beta male to get our big brain plays. But I do not understand why you cannot just mine the resources normally instead of destroying the village for them. It is not like there is anything rare in those villages. Do not worry, Joe. Just stop questioning our Sigma brain plan. You just worry about whatever it was that you were doing. Okay, then, well, I'm going to mine for my resources like a normal person then. Since I, in fact, do not need to destroy a village just to get myself some cobblestone. And back you go to get more cobblestone for me. You see, Joe, there is a natural order to these things, one that I'm on the top of. Screw you, Donald. This cobblestone is for me and me only. Unlike all of the other times that you have managed to peer pressure me into being your resource, bitch. This time I'm going to be independent of you two bozos. Old Joe Biden is going to be looking out for number one. Joe, you are definitely going to be the first one to die. Hey, shut up, Obama. No, I will not. I'm going to be just fine. Joe, you have about as much of a chance of not being the first of us to die as this iron golem does to not die within the next 10 seconds. Why on earth are you killing the villagers' iron golems as well? Iron is not a hard resource to find, Donald. Why not just go and get some? Because this way is easier, Joe. What did I say about questioning our plan? Yeah, Joe. Get back to gathering cobblestone for us. My mining arm is starting to get tired of picking up the slack for you. Hey, screw you guys. Stop making me out to be the resource bitch. Joe, you are locked in as the resource bitch until the end of time. If you are left to do anything else, you will just screw it up, so you will forever be our own personal cobblestone generator. No way. Screw you guys. This realm is going to be the one where I show you both just how cool I can be. I am going to build an amazing house, and I am going to become so insanely rich that you will both be begging me for forgiveness. Whatever, Joe. When you inevitably die first, I'm going to laugh my ass off right before I banish you into being the resource bitch for the rest of time. In the meantime, though, I'm going to gather myself some food. Okay, well, while you two are doing that, I'm going to go and find a cave so that we can start getting some actually useful tools made. Oh, sorry, Joe. I think I just killed your mother by mistake. Oh, very funny, Donald. You know what? I think I had carrot and coriander soup yesterday, so I am also sorry for destroying your family tree there. 
Stop saying that my tan makes me look like a carrot, Joe. My tan looks incredible. I get compliments on my tan all of the time. I would even say that my tan might be the best tan ever. Donald, your tan comes out of a spray can. If I wanted to get a tan like yours, I would ask the Oompa Loompas for their skincare routine. Joe, if you were in a situation where you were in the same room as an Oompa Loompa, you would be too preoccupied with falling into the chocolate river. No way, Donald. If I were inside of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, I would definitely be the one to win and get the chocolate factory all to myself. No way, Joe. You would definitely be the guy that gets shrunk down. Ooh, yeah, I can see that. Screw you guys. No, I would not. Oh, you definitely would, Joe. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will be the one to take the chocolate factory. I would spend all day eating all of the chocolate that I could possibly get my hands on. And I would make sure that the door would slam on your hugely shrunk ass on your way out of my factory. Donald, there is no way that you would win the factory. Yeah, Donald. You are more likely to be the guy that got stuck in the pipes. Oh, that would so be, Donald. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. No, it would not. I would win the chocolate factory because winning is all that I ever do. There is literally no possible way that I could not win the factory. Donald, you would have about as much of a chance of winning the factory as you do for ever getting back into office. Hey, fuck you, Barack. Not only would I so win the factory, but just you watch. In the next election, I am going to take it home. Trump 2024, Barack, mark it on your calendar. My calendar? Donald, who the fuck still owns a calendar? Yeah, actually, you are right. Who the fuck would own a calendar nowadays? What do you guys mean? I still have a calendar. Why would I not? Joe, what the fuck do you need a calendar for? Do you not have a phone? Of course I have a phone, Donald. Why would I not have a phone? If you have a phone, then why do you not just use the calendar that is built in with your phone? Phones do not have calendars on them, dummy. How would that even work? Oh my God, Joe, how do you not know how that would work? What are you using, an old Nokia brick phone or something? Of course not, Donald. That is old tech now. I have copped one of those sleek new flip phones. They are so much more convenient. Wait, do you mean the flip phones with two screens or the flip phones with the keypad? The ones with the keypad, obviously. How on earth would having two screens even work? Oh my God, Joe, you were actually stuck in the 90s. Whatever, you guys. Can we just go to sleep now? Those have probably been the sweetest words I've ever heard you say, Barack. Whatever, Sleepy Joe. All right, guys, now that we are in day two, how about we head out and start getting some stuff done? That sounds good to me, Donald. I will try and find whatever I can around the village. And I will try to get started on a farm. All right, that sounds cool, Barack. Boy, oh boy, I cannot wait to see what I can find. You know, I'm out here killing animals for us to eat. While it feels like you two gays are doing nothing to help. I'm currently making a hoe so we can have a farm running Donald. I am helping you, bitch. And I'm mining sponge blocks so we can get water easier. The last time I saw you, Joe, you were mining hay blocks. They might be hay blocks then. Can I still capture water like a Pikamon with hay blocks? Biden, did you just say Pikamon? Yeah, Pikamon, it's what all the young, fresh, pubescent teens are playing, isn't it? It's fucking Pokemon, you shithead. P-O-K-E-N, Pokemon. Also, Biden, did you just say young, fresh, pubescent teens? Yes, I did. Biden, it's a good job you're not in Pokemon. You wouldn't catch Pokemon with your balls. You'd catch Misty Dawn and may you sick fuck. I'm sick? That's rich coming from Mr. Fatty over here? I'm just big boned. I'm currently cooking KFC. KFC is very healthy because it's chicken. Thank you very much. No, Donald, that's not how that works. You do know that, right? No, it's chicken, so it's healthier than most other places. KFC is my main source of protein for bulking. Donald, that isn't... You know what? I don't care enough about your weight and what you eat. In fact, it would make the world a better place if you just died. Ah. Fuck you, Biden. Young girls would feel safer if you died. To be fair, Donald, most of America would feel safer if you died. Shut the fuck up, Obama. Who the fuck got you involved? No one. So back the fuck off. Hey, we're on call. It's not like you can privately speak to him without me hearing, bitch. You're a fucking dumbass, Trump. Did you just take my meat, Sleepy Joe? No. Don't let him bully you, Joe. If you needed food, you needed food. Come on, fucking gravel, please. Yes, thank fuck. No, it's my fucking food, not for Sleepy Joe. He already has his carrots. But I only have one carrot left. That's not true. I just saw you harvest loads. Get the fuck out of my furnace. I'll set you on fucking fire if you do it again, Sleepy Joe. You wouldn't burn an old man. I would smell bad when I burn like old cabbages. You don't want that, Donald. See, I don't, but I also really want to burn. You bitch. Yeah, I'm a nimble young man, Donald. You're not young and you're not smart. I am smart, thank you. That would have been a nice play, Donald, but you won't outplay me. I'll get you at some point. I'll get you when you're least expecting it. 
Good luck with that, Donald. Ah, fuck you, Donald. Burn, Sleepy Joe, burn. Ah, uh, fuck it, burns. Donald, I'm losing health. Donald, I'm gonna fucking die. Sleepy Joe, there's water right next to us, you shithead. Have you guys done anything fucking productive in the last minute? Been more productive in the last minute than Sleepy Joe has been since he became president. Look at how sick this is going to be. We goddamn, that was fucking fun. You sound like a little kid. I better be careful of Creepy Joe then. Oh, I fuck you. I'm not that creepy, guys. Joe, you fucking creep me out, and I've seen your mom's no-no area. When did you see mommy's no-no area? Last night when I went around and gave her the dump and run Trump experience. Is that the same experience you gave our country when you fucked all of America with? When you dumped and run from them? I made America great, and you fucking know I did. I never fucked over America once. Also, Obama, what the fuck are you doing over there? I'm building my own sky base as I didn't want to live in yours. Yeah, well, mine's going to be way cooler than yours ever fucking could dream of being. No, mine's going to be the best there ever is. Do you see what I did there? I made another Pokemon reference. P-O-K-A, moan, not Pokemon. It's fucking Pokemon, you moron. Okay, I made my home. It's a lot smaller than the White House, but it's home. That's not a fucking sky base. That's not even a base. I know you're lonely Obama and we're your only friends, but fucking hell, that's a new level of sad. It's cute. Adorable, fuzzy, uwu. The same size that small wizard boy lives in. What's his name? Did you just say uwu? You fucking disgust me, man. The small wizard boy. What's his name? Something like Luke. Yeah, Luke Skywalker. That's fucking Star Wars, you dumbass. Yeah, the one where he goes on that journey to the Death Star and kills Dark Vader. No, it's fucking Darth Vader. As a huge Star Wars nerd, I demand you get it fucking right. Dark Vader, Dark Vader, Dark Vader. I'll fucking hit you. Oh, oh, did you just get hit off by me, LOL? Fuck you, I'm going to my house. I'm coming to look at your hobbit hole. Well, this is my beautiful one-room cottage for 650 a night. Ha ha ha, the bed's mine. Think how much I'll get for Obama's bed. Donald, you didn't pick up my bed, dumb fuck. Oh, fuck. I was going to make so much money from your bed, people will 100% buy your sweaty bed sheets. I once brought bathwater from the Google thingy. What the fuck, Biden? Who from Sleepy Joe? I don't know. One day I was searching for a fan for my bedroom and went onto this website. And when I saw what it was, I went to click away. But I saw her and her beautiful pink hair and small, cute, innocent body, and I brought her bathwater. Joe, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? Hey, what can I say? Me and Leonardo da Vinci, just like our girls a bit younger. Leonardo da Vinci? The guy who painted the fucking Mona Lisa? No, Leonardo da Vinci. The guy in the Titanic. That's fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, you fucking shithead. Jesus, you really need to get tested for dementia, Joe. Oi, Joe, I'm going to break some blocks for you. Hear him helping. Oi, no, fuck off, Donald. Stop breaking my fucking blocks, man. I'm helping, Biden. I'm helping you, man. Fuck. You know what? This house so is much better than my shitty sky base. I'll fucking burn it so my base will be the fucking best. Oi, Trump, fuck off and leave my house alone, you fucking bitch. You know when cool-looking people walk away from an explosion, that's me with your house? Ah, oh, fucking leave my house alone, you fucking bitch. Stop fucking hitting me. I just want my house to not burn. What the fuck are you doing to Biden's house, Donald? I'm burning it and Biden alive. Come here, Biden. Stop fucking running. Stop trying to fucking burn me, Donald. Go and have your fucking protein KFC for food, not me. Here, Biden, I'll give you a hand putting the fire out. Because some of us don't have our egos up our asses. Some of us are okay with others having cooler houses. Not me. I have to have the coolest fucking house because I'm the coolest fucking person. You have to fucking ruin everything, don't you? It's like playing with my fucking siblings all over again, Donald. You fucking suck. I don't fucking care. Your house is shit while mine still looks cool. As much as Biden has done some questionable things today, like telling us he brought bath water, at least he's not a cocky bitch like you, Donald. Cocky? You think I'm cocky? Please, you wouldn't know a cock if it slapped you in the face. Yours is so small, you don't even know what it looks like. I've been called hung like a horse before. Thank you very much, Donald. Well, if Michelle ever wants a cocky cock, send her my way. Fuck you, Donald. Actually, fuck you. I'm breaking your fucking house. Leave my house the fuck alone. Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. What the fuck are you still breaking my fucking house for? Fuck off, Donald, or I'll fucking wreck you, kid. You're lucky I'm too busy building my sky base. Otherwise, I'd fucking kill you. LOL, would you now? Ah, uh, fuck, guys, there are llamas. Don't worry, I can kill them. They're no match for me. Donald, are you building a fucking wall? A wall will keep the llamas and Mexicans out. Just you watch. Guys, the llamas being friendly. Just like the Mexicans, that's what they want you to think. What do you mean I'm patting it, Donald? They are so cute and adorable. Oh, fuck, never mind, the wall's a good idea. Yeah, now, do you both see what I mean about the wall being good to keep the fucking Mexicans out? 
Here, take all my blocks, just keep them on the other side. I don't want to become llama food. Okay, guys, I think we're safe. There's nowhere safe when there's no wall to stop the fucking Mexicans. Are they still there? I don't know. Let's push you over to find out. Ah, they are 100% still there. Donald, fuck off. Boy, Sleepy Joe, where the fuck do you think you're going? On your base because you destroyed my base? No, go back to your fucking base, Sleepy Joe. I don't have a base because of you. Ah, you bitch. Oops, Biden just kind of slipped Obama, I promise. I saw it from the bottom. It didn't look like he just slipped. Guys, why can't I respond? Oh, shit, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Whoopsies. No, you fucking did it on purpose. Donald, what the fuck? He can't respawn, you dumb fucking bitch. Don't call me a bitch. I'll fucking kill you. Oh, will you? Go on. Me and you right fucking now, G. Yeah, fuck you, Obama. Who's better at gaming, bitch? Fuck you, Donald. Seeing as I'm now alone in this world, I'm going to go out the stylish, cool way of burning myself alive in a ball of fury and blaze. I'll see you two gays tomorrow. Hey, guys, you want to play some more hardcore? Yeah, Donald. A new day, a new realm. Yeah, Obama. It feels like we're having to make a new realm almost every episode. Well, if you would stop doing something really stupid every time, then we could maybe keep a realm for longer, Joe. Hey, shut up, Donald. I seem to remember you being the one that pushed me off of the ledge last time. And just like I had predicted, you were the one to lose first. Hey, Donald, that was not my fault. Yes, it was, Joe. If you just got good, then you could have survived. It is not my fault that you pushed me off of the ledge, Donald. That one was your fault. No way, Joe. You just should have saved yourself. You know what? How about we let the viewers decide? If you think that me losing in the last realm was Donald's fault, then hit that like button and subscribe. Fine, Joe. But I will only admit that it was my fault if this video can get all of the way to 10,000 likes. Okay, guys. Make sure to hit that like button now then so that we can prove Donald wrong. Whatever, Joe. Are you ready to play some hardcore already? Yeah, Donald. I am hopping on now. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited to be starting another world again. Yeah, Joe, me too. Just try not to die again and mess everything up. Do not worry, Barack. You do not have to worry about me this time around. If I get in trouble, I will simply use my Biden blast to assure my safety. Joe, if you could have saved yourself with your Biden blast this whole time, then why did you not do it yesterday? I did not use my Biden blast yesterday because I was caught off guard by Donald's betrayal. Shut up, Joe. Until I see that this video has hit that 10,000 like mark, I will not tolerate any talk that implies I had anything to do with you being an idiot last episode. Whatever you say, Donald. Once this video hits 10,000 likes, though, you are going to have to eat those words. Oh, hey, guys, check it out. I've just found this awesome looking cave. Oh, cool. Can you see any resources from the top? Nah, I'm going to go explore and I might come back for this later. This might be a hot take, guys. But I think that I preferred the old caves to the new ones. What? No way, Joe. The new caves are so much cooler. I do not know, Donald. I think I prefer the old, more simple style of caves more than the new ones. Actually, how? How could you not like the new caves? They are not only absolutely gorgeous to look at, but they are so much more fun to explore. The new caves are scary, Donald. They are so dangerous. I miss the old style of caves where it was easy fun. I could spend hours down there just exploring every little tunnel. But the new difficulty is part of the fun, Joe. Mining is now a challenge to overcome rather than a chore to sit through. I just do not see it that way, Obama. I think that the old style of caves is relaxing. Well, you are wrong, Joe. The new caves are infinitely better. Oh, come on, Donald. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Ding dong, your opinion is wrong. Oh, shut up, Donald. You are acting like a child. That is pretty rich coming from the guy who eats two liters of ice cream every day and pretends that he has superpowers. I do not pretend that I have superpowers, Donald. My Biden blast is very real, and if not properly controlled, can be the cause of a world-ending event. Joe, the only thing that you can make end is my suffering by finally shutting the fuck up. I will not, Donald. In fact, last time I checked, a president needed to be able to speak. And since you are no longer the president, it will be you who should shut the fuck up. Hey, fuck you, Joe. When I am re-elected next year, I am so going to rub it in your face. Donald. You will be lucky to even still be out of jail by the time the next election rolls around, let alone actually winning the darn thing. Joe, that court case is not going to be going anywhere. I will simply pay off a judge or two, and I will be a man as free as our founding fathers intended. Just you watch, Joe. Trump 2024 will make this next election one of the greatest elections ever. No way, Donald. I am so going to beat you in the next election, just like I did the last one. Fuck you, Joe. That election was rigged. 
I cannot wait to finally get another shot at beating you. This time you will not be able to rig the election against me either. Jesus Christ, Donald, when are you going to accept that you lost the election fair and square? Never, Joe, because I know that the election was rigged. And once I have beaten you in the next year's election, and I can finally prove that the election was rigged, I am going to shout it from the rooftops that I did not lose and that you are a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I am so not, Donald. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Shut the fuck up, Donald. I am so not. Jesus Christ, you two are like actual children. That is funny, because your mother said that I was plenty enough man for her last night. Ooh, snap. Fuck you, Donald. There is no way anyone could see you as anything even close to a man with all of that spray tan you have on. You look more like an Oompa Loompa than an actual human, let alone a man. Ah, uh, did I hurt your little libtard feelings there, Barack? Do you need your mother to come and give you a goodnight kiss after I've given her a little more than that? Donald, I swear to fucking God, if you speak another goddamn word, I'm going to drone strike you and everyone you have ever loved into oblivion. Damn, Barack, you would drone strike your own mother? That is cold, man. Donald, I swear to fucking God, if you do not take that back this instant, then I'm going to take your orange ass, turn you into fertilizer, and use you to grow a whole ass farm of oranges so that once you are gone, there can be something actually useful in your place. Jesus, Barack really is not pulling any of his punches today. Okay, okay, fine. I am sorry, Barack. There you are, Donald. Was it really all that hard? Oh, I can guarantee you that is eating him up from the inside right now. Shut the fuck up, Joe. There is probably some random disease that is eating you up from the inside right as we speak. You old fart. Nuh-uh, Donald. My Biden blast can protect me from all forms of illness. There is no simple disease out there that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the raw, overwhelming power of the Biden blast. Joe, the day you stop pretending that you have superpowers might just be the day that you actually become useful as a president. Donald, I have been a far better president than you. Last time I checked, I have not yet been impeached, so I'm already leaps and bounds ahead of your orange ass. Joe, you are not and you will never be a better president than me. I was the best president that this country has ever seen. They will write me down in the history books as the best thing that has ever happened to this country. Just you watch. Donald, the only thing that your presidency will be in the history books for will be for being the only president to be impeached twice. No way, Joe. You will see. My presidency will be adored for the rest of time. And when I am brought back into office next year, we will see people singing in the streets from the pure joy of having me back in my rightful place as the leader of this country. I can guarantee you, Donald, no one will be dancing for you. People dance for me all of the time, Joe. Donald, how many times do I have to tell you? The people on the side of the road in skimpy clothing that dance for you and then ask for money are not doing it because they like your political campaign. What do you mean? Of course they do. They even call me Mr. President as they do it. Oh my God, Donald. Donald, you are like an actual child. Oh, do not start this one again, Joe. I refuse to be called a child by a man who takes three naps every day while also eating half of his weight in ice cream. Oh, whatever, Donald. Where are you anyway? I see you, Joe. I'm just making my way over to you now. Oh, hey, Donald, there you are. Barack, are you going to be coming to meet up with us as well? Yeah, guys. I am close by. I am right by that cool cave that I had seen earlier. I am making my way over to you guys right now. Okay, then. Well, while you are coming over here, I'm going to try and find more food for us. Oh, man, it is starting to get dark. Guys, I can't run. I don't have any hunger, and all I have is raw meat. Just eat the raw meat. No, don't eat the raw meat, you fucking idiot, Biden. You'll gain more bars of hunger if you cook it, Obama. But I can't run, Donald. It's going to be so long till I'm with you guys. Don't worry, I'm gathering loads of food. You'll be fine when you get here. What if I'm attacked by fucking mobs? I expected this scaredy cat shit from Joe, not from you, Obama. I'm not a scaredy cat. How are you not a scaredy cat, Joe? Explain to me. I won the fucking election, bitch. I became the president of the United fucking States. Yeah, but that election was fucking rigged and you fucking know it. It was never rigged, Donald. Shut the fuck up, man. Oh, it 100% was. Oi, Donald, what's your chords? I'm at X60Y70Z227. OMG, I'm so fucking far away. This is going to take so fucking long. Shut up and then stop whining, man. I'm not whining. I'm just stating that I don't have food. That sounds like whining to me, you bitch. Don't worry. You can have some food when you get here, Obama. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate that. Okay, but while we're talking about fucking food, what is your go-to favorite meal? 
I quite like a peanut and jelly sandwich with a protein bar. Biden, you're the fucking president of the fucking United States. You do not need to be eating fucking peanut and jelly sandwiches, you fucking dumbass. Yeah, but I quite like a peanut and jelly sandwich, mainly when my crust is cut off for me. Oi, Biden, turn the fuck around. Oh, yeah, you wanted your food, didn't you? Give me the fucking food. Jesus, someone sounds hungry. You're not you when you're hungry. Have a steak. Finally fucking meat to fill my hunger bar up. Biden, did you say earlier that you get the crust cut off for you? Yeah, because I find the crust chewy. That is so fucking weird. You are a fucking weirdo. You do know that, right? Hey, man, I just don't like crust. Leave me alone. What's your favorite fucking food, Donald? When I was at the White House and could splash my cash everywhere, I was having lobster with bottles of wine and buckets of ice at least four times a week. Holy shit, Donald, that's so fucking much money wasted. Yeah, but it was all for me, so it wasn't wasted, you dumbass. Yeah, but think of how many people you could have helped if you weren't having lobster so many times a fucking week. Bro, one of the best parts of living in a huge white mansion and having a fuck ton of money is getting to have lobster steak and exclusively freshly hunted meat. If you're not playing golf on a private lawn, then what's the point of being a president? Maybe helping the country, Donald? Something you fucking never did. I made America fucking great again, you bitch. I made it greater than it ever will be. It's just a downhill slope for our citizens from here on. Just like your life, Donald. The fuck do you mean, Sleepy Joe? I mean, you're gaming in a non-mansion, playing Minecraft every day, probably eating baked beans on toast. Biden, are you dissing on baked beans on toast, G? No, I love baked beans on toast. Also, Biden, the fuck do you mean gaming every day? I don't game every fucking day. To be fair, Donald, you are the one who normally asks us to game. I know you don't have friends, so that's why I game with you. I have friends? Who are they, Donald? Well, you guys don't know them. Their names you won't know, so I can't say. And like, I can't say their names while we are recording for privacy reasons. Being a president, I have to keep a lot of shit private, obviously. Donald, that is the most bullshit I've heard come out of your mouth. And I've heard a lot of bullshit come out of your fucking mouth. Oh, really? What's the most bullshit you've heard come out of my mouth? That you'll make America great again. Fuck you. I made America the greatest it ever has been and ever will fucking be. No president will ever be comparable to what I was. I was a God-tier president, and no one can take that away from me. Ah, fuck, it's the Filza killer. Kill it. Don't let it kill us. That's the plan, shit brain. It's so small, cute, and sexy. Shame we have to kill it. Right, okay, now it's fucking dead. We can sleep. And Joe, don't ever call a baby zombie cute ever a fucking gain. What can I craft with all this junk? A fucking leather helmet. Guys, do I look fucking sexy? I can't fucking say that you look sexy, Sleepy Joe. You look as old as my fucking grandmother. God rest her soul. And I think you look like a shriveled up tortoise. How resistant to damage is your hat, Joe? Fuck off, Donald. I mean, to be fair, that did no damage at all, but still fuck off. Come here, Sleepy Joe. Come back here. You're fucking fast for an old turtle. Fuck you. For a turtle, I'm a much better runner than you. Hmm, I'll take your food as payment for me not hitting you. Also, what do you mean you're a better runner? I kept keeping up with you in that chase. I meant I ran better for being the better president, bitch. Oh, fuck you, you fucking saggy old turtle and die of old age or hit by a fucking bus. Donald, in case you forgot who beat you in the fucking election, I'm the fucking president. I don't spend any time around fucking buses. You only beat me because you fucking rigged it with Russia aliens and fucking Twitter owners. That's why I was banned. I bet you still have a fucking agreement with Elon Musk and Elon's trying to get me back on Twitter, but it's a whole setup by you to get me to tweet where it's a trap. Donald, what the fuck, man? I bet you're on in it too, Obama. I bet you started the fucking BLM movement to try and make more mess for me to clean up as president. Donald, what the fuck are you on about, man? Have you fucking lost a screw? No, I'm just thinking about you all being against me. Because I'm fucking God. And you all need to try and take me down because no one will ever be this fucking awesome. Donald, have you been listening to fucking Andrew Tate again? Andrew Tate is the top fucking G. He is a fucking God. Donald fucking Trump, stop fucking listening to that womanizer. I'll fucking watch and listen to whoever the fuck I want to, bitch. Donald, some of his views are kind of fucked, but deep down he's got some good points. Like, just don't get advice from him. He worked with me when we were writing for speeches. He's the one who suggested the grab him by the no-no area speech and injecting bleach into you speech. He was my secret right-hand man. If I got married again, I would have him as my best man to make a fucking killer speech that motivated everyone to boogie on the dance floor. Donald, what the fuck is wrong with you? That man is a fucking creepy guy. Worse than Biden 100 times. And I fucking hate him as a human being. 
if you can even call him that. Obama, shut the fuck up, man. He is a fucking amazing person. The fucking media is shit, and they've just put Tate in a really bad view. You always blame the fucking media for this, for that, for anything wrong in your life. You blame the fucking media. Maybe grow a pair and see that you give the fucking media shit to write about due to your shitty actions. What the fuck are you on about, Sleepy Joe? He's saying about how you blame everything for everyone else, when in reality, maybe you should take a look at yourself. Do you know? People have told me to take a long, hard look at myself in the past, and it hurts, and it makes me sad. But then I look at myself, and remember, I'm a fucking god, and that I am the sexiest, hottest, most powerful man of fucking live. Jesus, Donald, there's no fucking helping you. You just come over here and start taking our fucking meat. We're cooking. You fucking take Biden's meat after punching and bullying him earlier. All we ever fucking do is get bullied by you. What do we get out of playing with you, Donald? You guys get a shit ton of money because I bring the fucking humor to these fucking videos. You know what, Donald? Fuck you. Me and Joe can be funny. We're going to make the rest of this fucking video without you. Fuck you. Good luck making content as good. I'm fucking funniest, smartest, best fucking person you will ever meet. Okay, that clown's fucking gone. Thank fuck I was getting tired of him talking about Andrew Tate. Yeah, no, that was starting to get annoying. Also, what the fuck does he mean we can't be funny? We can be funny. Yeah, we can be so funny. For instance, did I tell you about the time I slipped and hit my head? No. Well, I slipped and hit my head. And? And what? I don't know, just thought there would be more to that story. Make it, like, funny. Fuck, maybe we do need Donald? Maybe we do. I don't know, I'm pissed off at him, but I, I'm not in the mood for making content right now. He's put me in such a pissed place, not gonna lie. Oh, look who it fucking is calling. Wow, they couldn't last two fucking minutes. What's up, fucking bozos? Did you fucking miss me? I'm sorry, Donald. Trying to be funny is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Fucking apologize more, you little bitch. I'm so, so sorry, Donald. I'm really sorry. I thought it would be fine and easy, but it wasn't. And you make this channel great. Say I made America great? I don't know if I can go that far, Donald. Fucking say it, Sleepy Joe, or I'll leave. You made America great. More enthusiasm, bitch. You made America fucking great, sir. That's fucking better. Now I'm happy I'm probably going to log off for the night. Have a good night, boys. Yeah, I was about to do the same. Have a good night, Biden, Donald. Good night, guys. Sleep well. Hey, guys, are you ready to play some more hardcore? Yeah, Barack. I cannot wait to play some more. Yeah, me too, Joe. I'm going to be hopping on the realm now. All right, Donald, I am hopping on too. Okay, guys, where do we all want to go from here? I think that trying to find a good cave would be a good idea. Yeah, I agree, Barack. Getting some more iron would be really nice. We might also find the cave that Joe called home when he was young. Hey, buzz off, Donald. I am not that old. Yes, you are that old, Joe. I am pretty sure that some of your footprints from when you were young are being studied as fossils. At least I am being studied for something other than my nutritional value, you extra-large tangerine. Hey, don't you diss the tan, Joe. Yeah, don't diss the tan, Joe. You might end up getting it, too. Now that would truly be horrifying. Shut the fuck up, Barack. No, it would not. In fact, I think if Joe was able to get my tan, it would make him so much better looking that he would instantly be able to attract any woman, just like I do. Stop lying, Donald. We have all seen how badly Melania wants to get rid of you. You do not get any bitches. Fuck you, Obama. Melania absolutely does not want to get rid of me. I also have a riz level of which you could never possibly begin to understand. I might just be the rizziest rizzer that ever rizzed. That is complete and utter bullshit, Donald. The only people that let you think that you're giving them the riz are doing so because of how rich you are. Nuh-uh, Joe. I get mad bitches as well as mad hoes. You could never possibly even begin to understand the immense amount of riz I have. If that is true, Donald, then where exactly is Melania right now? She is... Uh... Oh, L-M-A-O, Barack. You really got him by the balls on that one. Shut the fuck up, Joe. No, he is not. The only person that has got me by the balls is Michelle. You take that back, you orange fuck, before I drone strike your ass out of existence? Fine, whatever, Barack. Have any of you managed to find any iron anyway? Nah, I have not found any. What about you, Barack? No, I have not found any either. Do you guys want to find another cave? Now, nah, let's stick with this one. I am sure we can find some new paths to explore that will have some iron for us. Yeah, Donald, you are probably right. Of course I am right, Barack. I'm always right. In fact, I cannot remember a single time in my entire life that I was wrong. What about when you said that you were going to win the election? Huh, Donald? Fuck you, Joe. Stop acting like you did not rig that election against me, you caveman. 
For the last time, Donald, I did not rig that election against you. Just accept the fact that you had lost the election fair and square. Not a chance, Joe. When Trump 2024 puts me back into office, I'm going to prove that the election was rigged against me, and I will expose you as the cheater that you are. Donald, if we are talking about exposing people after coming into office, how about we talk about what I found on the office computer on my first day? Oh, crap. Uh Uh-huh. There was so much of it, too, Donald. I must have been sat there trying to close it all for like an hour. Wait, what was on there? There was so much. Joe, don't you dare say another fucking word. Why? Are you scared of being exposed? No, Joe. I'm just scared of you spreading even more fake news. Oh, trust me, Donald. I took screenshots. I have the proof to show that none of it is fake news. And there you go again, manipulating the media into spreading your bullshit conspiracies. Honestly, Joe, I cannot believe you sometimes. Wow, Donald, you are actually living inside of a fantasy world. What the fuck was on the computer, Joe? It was nothing, Barack. Do not worry about it. Oh, come on, man. Just tell me already. Nah, sorry, Barack. I will only tell people if all of the viewers hit that like and subscribe button right now. If they do not hit the like and subscribe buttons by next video, then I will not tell anyone what I found on the White House computer. Come on, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button right now. I really want to know what Joe found. No way, Barack. You will never know. Besides, look just up ahead. There is a ruined portal. I wonder if there will be any good gear for us. Oh, wow. This is a big portal. I'm going to get me some of this nether rack. Joe, why the fuck do you want some nether rack? It is literally one of the most useless blocks in the whole game. No way, Donald. Nether rack looks cool as fuck. I'm going to add this to my house and it is going to look awesome. That is cringe as fuck, Joe. If your house looks anything like the house you made during our build battle a week ago, then I am going to blow it up so that no one has to suffer through seeing it. That house was awesome, Donald. That might have just been the best house I have ever made. It truly was my finest work. I do not know how you guys did not like it. Joe, that house was fucking awful. If that was your finest work, then you seriously need to get better at building. No, I do not, Barack. That house was absolutely perfect. Oh, I miss it so much. Joe, I'm pretty sure I have seen homeless people with better houses than that one. Whatever, Donald. One day my art will be properly appreciated. Joe, calling your building skills art is probably the biggest insult to artists everywhere that I have ever seen. Nah, screw you, Donald. I bet the viewers all agree that my building skills are a true art form. Okay, well, how about we put that to the test? Okay, everyone. Comment. Joe sucks at building down below if you think that Joe is a bad builder. Okay, then fine. But comment, Joe is an artist down below if you recognize the true art form behind my builds. Whatever, Joe. Let's just check out this village. Okay, Barack. I'm right behind you. Hey, guys. Wait up for me. Eat my dust, Donald. Yeah, Donald. You are getting outpaced just like I outpaced you on the vote. Fuck you, Joe. The only reason that you managed to outpace me in the election is because you rigged the election against me. No way, Donald. You are just in the habit of falling behind me in almost every way. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. I do not fall behind anyone ever. I am the one who leads the way for all of those behind me because I am the best at everything I do, and I become the example of perfection in every field I so much as dip my toes in. Donald, we both know that is not the case. If you were the best at everything you do, then you would still be the owner of Trump Tower. Shut up, Joe. I will get Trump Tower back soon. Just you watch. Donald, he is already asleep. Jesus Christ, we have been waiting for you to come to sleep for what feels like forever now. Shut the fuck up, Barack. I will go to sleep now, okay? Happy now? Donald, I will be the happiest man alive on the day that you finally decide to shut the fuck up for once. That will never happen, Barack. Denying the general population of all of the brilliance I speak at every second of every day would leave the world in a disaster. No one would know what to do if they did not have my amazing guidance to help them along. Whatever, Donald. At least you are finally going to sleep now. Oh, hey, guys. What did I miss? Nothing, Joe. Just more of Donald's trademark ego boasting. Hey, shut the fuck up, Obama. When you are as awesome and amazing as me, sometimes even bragging to the degree that I am is the most humble thing that you can do. You would never understand that fact because you are just so much of a beta male in comparison to me. Jesus Christ, Donald, you seriously need to get off of the guru scammer side of TikTok. Hey, what the fuck? Why are you placing magma blocks around me? 
Jump into it. You won't. No balls. Here, why don't you just stay right there, Obama? Oh, hell nah, Donald. You ain't gonna catch me lacking like that. Fine, whatever, Obama. LOL, get baited, noob. Oh, whatever, Barack. Hey, Joe, come here. I want to show you something. Look at this fucking sick-ass block. Very pretty, Donald. Don't mind me mining the block underneath you. Biden, why did you move, you little bitch? Give me your bed, Obama. Go away, Donald. Here, take your goddamn bed. Thank you, Obama. Pleasure doing business with you. You didn't even take the bed, Donald? No, I just enjoyed bullying you with my flint and steel. Donald, you're a goddamn bitch. You know that? Yeah, and what? Who the fuck is going to do anything about it, eh? You fucking suck, Donald. Okay, and? And do you not feel any shame or sadness about that? No, because I don't care about your opinion, Obama. I know I'm a fucking god who is above everyone, like watching puny ants run around America. Jesus Christ, Donald, you have so much ego that an elephant couldn't eat you. Sleepy Joe, never try to insult me again. That was shit. So, so shit. Okay, sorry. Yeah, fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Kiss my feet next time I see you. I'm not kissing your Oompa Loompa looking feet, Donald. I don't know the last time you showered. I shower daily. Thank you very much, Biden. My feet are godlike. Everything about me is godlike. Thank you very much. If you are so godlike, then why are you so fat, Donald? Answer that. I'm not fat. I'm just big boned Obama. I just have a good amount of warmth for the winter. Yeah, and if you weren't fat, you may have been able to run fast enough to win the election. Fat ass. At least in fat, you fucking twig. You have no meat on you. Your twiggy, wrinkly body looks like a chewed up chicken drumstick that I devoured. Fuck you, Donald. If I was a chicken drumstick, I'd be so tasty. Brother, that was a bad insult. Yeah, that was insanely shit, Biden. Like, you've done some bad insults, but that takes the crown for worst. At least I take the crown for president, bitch. Only because it was fucking rigged. That crown should have been mine. America fucking loved me. I was a godsend to that country. You would have sunk America further down into the fucking ground. That's a lot of talk coming from the man who's done such little in his time of presidency that I forget he's a president. Hell, knowing your dementia, I bet you forget your president, too. Sorry, but who are you? Shut up, Sleepy Joe. No, I'm for real. Why did you call me Sleepy? Who are you? What's a president? Okay, if you really lost your memory, you wouldn't be able to play intuitively right now, Joe. Or shit, goddammit, Obama. How close was I to fooling you, Donald? Not very. I'm very smart and knew you were joking. I knew you were trying to mess me about Sleepy Joe. Sure you did, Donald. Sure you did. I did. I knew. The only one time you fucked me over was when the election was rigged. Oh, for Pete's sake. It was never fucking rigged, Donald. Get your head out of it being rigged. It was never goddamn rigged. Donald, can you piss off with that goddamn flint and steel? Rigged and you fucking know it. Piss off, Donald. Stop coping, you little bitch. I'm not coping. You're coping. Hmm, sure, Donald, sure. I wish we could get through one video without you two fighting. Yeah, well, tell that to him. If he wasn't getting into fights with me, then we would be fine. Hey, you're the one who always starts a man. I would rather have the channel be nice and peaceful and not argumentative. Then drop that you're the one who doesn't start them. If you want to not be in an argument, then drop your side of the story and agree with me that you always start arguments. No, because that's not fair or true. I never start them, Donald. It's always you and your loud mouth. I think this fucking argument is rigged just like the election. Everything is rigged in your favor, Sleepy Joe. What do you mean everything rigged in my favor? I had to work hard to get to where I stand today. And I have to work as double as hard as any president before me because I'm cleaning up your mess, Donald. My mess? I left no mess. The only reason why there's a slight mess is because of the BLM movement and the killing virus called COVID-19. Did you know about COVID-19 or were you asleep through it? because I saw you asleep at one of those COVID meetings. No, I never fell asleep. I was just resting my eyes, Donald. Also, it was at the COP26 conferences, not COVID, you moron. I know about COVID, but what I know most is you did a shit job at controlling it. I was fucking fantastic at controlling it, and I did an amazing job. Thank you very much, Sleepy Joe. Yeah, you did such an amazing job. That's why you said about injecting bleach, LOL. I did what was right for my country, and I did a better job than you ever could have, Obama. You got lucky that COVID wasn't four years sooner. Shut up, Donald. America loved me. They know I would have done what was right for them. They know I would have been the best for their country if I could have stayed forever. Obama, you were so shit, you did shit all for our country. I had massive plans like building a huge fucking wall to keep those fucking Mexicans out. Trump, you got elected because your opponent was Hillary Clinton. She was such a bad choice that America chose you out of the runners. And you're so fat you can't run for five seconds. 
Biden already made that shit joke earlier. You have to keep it fresh for the viewers. If you're going to insult me, do it better, you fucking shithead. I can call you fat as many times as I fucking want. Fat, 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 fat. Okay, shut up, man. It's getting old, all these fat jokes, man. Like, get more creative with your jokes, bro. Okay, you want a joke? What was your biggest challenge when you were elected president, Trump? Finding a cabinet position for your hairpiece. No, fuck you. My hair is 100% real and looks sexy as hell. No, my hair looks better and I have none. Have you ever thought about going bald Donald, letting the world see your orange head? No, because fuck that. My hair is a chick magnet. I get all the ladies with it and I look so ungodly sexy. I could pull anyone I fucking wanted. You make women so uncomfortable everywhere you go, Donald, you couldn't get any girl. I could get any girl I fucking wanted. I have never made anyone uncomfortable in my life. You made the world pretty uncomfortable. It was fine back in 2003 when your daughter Ivanka was 22 and you said she was one of the great beauties of the world. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But then you went on to say my daughter Ivanka, she's six feet tall, she's got the best body, that's kind of creepy. But that isn't the worst part. Can I stop you there? That's normal. I think she's got a good body. That's fine for me to say. That isn't weird at all. You're taking it out of context. Okay, but I think it's pretty weird that you said, and I quote, I've said if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. That's kind of fucked up, man. It's no better than anything that Sleepy Joe's done. Have you noticed he's been very silent throughout this conversation because he's a creepy old man who doesn't want creepy attention on him? No, shut up, Donald. I'm not a creepy perv who's been into his daughter. Unlike you, you sick bastard. Yeah, it's not like your daughter wrote in her journal that you made her shower with you inappropriately. That was fake news that was distorted. None of that is true, and you know it. Just like how I know you rigged the election, you silent, creepy, chewed-up chicken drumstick. Fucking sneaky like a Mexican. I bet you secretly are Mexican. What the fuck, man? I'm just not Mexican. Like, why the fuck would you think that? Also, Donald, what are you doing over by me? I'm building a wall to keep your Mexican ass out of my base because my base doesn't need any fucking Mexicans. Donald, he's legit not Mexican. What are you on about? Have you lost a fucking screw again like the last video? No, I'm keeping this fucking Mexican out my base because he likes to shower with his daughter and probably smells like a moldy chicken drumstick because he looks like one. So I'm keeping him far away. Honestly, I think you've lost it again. Lost your marbles. Obama, I think we should end the video here and let Donald have some alone time. No, I'm building my wall around you, asshole. Don't end the video yet. Ah, fuck, I set myself on fire. Fuck, it's killing my health bar. Donald, you're becoming a danger to yourself. Get some fucking sleep. Sleep, fuck that. Don't worry, Donald, I'm bringing a water bucket. Thank you so much. What the fuck is that, Biden? Psych! Get your fucking ass here, Biden. Ah, uh, fuck off, Donald. Real mature, Biden, real fucking mature. For Pete's sake, what the hell are you two up to now? Donald's just placing that red brick block to make the fire last forever along the wall. Yeah, it's to keep you far away from my base, you sneaky little Mexican man. On that note, I'm gonna log off because Donald needs to get his fucking head straight. Donald, get a good night's sleep tonight, yeah? Good night, boys. Yeah, I might. Good night, guys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will nuke you as well.